This is CJ Stream, and today we have a special guest. <laughs> the stream will be in English. So, Ignacio was on last corner, right? Yes, so, of course. Yeah, great. So, hi, everyone. Hi, hello. Yeah. And today, our like, host, as usual, Alex and Alisa. And I think we should start now. <laughs> yeah. When you become an artist, told us about your start, about your learn. Just tell us about yourself as well, like just so people would understand who you are, what you're doing here, why, okay. <laughs> and things like that. <laughs> okay, uh, my, my story about how I start working uh, in the industry as an artist is uh, it was uh, 20 years ago. I have 37 years old. Uh, I'm not old, but I'm not young. Uh, I remember I used to have uh, 17 and I was finishing my school uh, bachelor and uh, I found a, a friend that he was doing a video game in Argentina. I came from Argentina also. Uh, and uh, uh, at this moment, this guy asked me, uh, how, you know how to draw? And I say, yeah, I like, I, I love to, to, to draw. Okay, I'm doing a video game. Can you help me? And uh, I say, oh, of course. And then, uh, for a, like an accident, I start to work in the, in, the, in the industry of video game without any idea about how, how it works. Uh, for example, graphics inside of a video game, what is the rules about texture or 3D. I was uh, only a guy in the school drawing all the time uh, without any idea about fundamentals. Nothing, just enjoy drawing. Then uh, later, I I, dis I I realized that obviously I need to study because uh, it was okay for the moment with uh, my low level of uh, um, fundamentals, but then when I start to grow up and trying to be part of the uh, industry, I, I decided to study to to start study um, uh, arts in the university and also uh, by myself with uh, private private teachers uh, and uh, I yeah, spent like five six years uh, drawing all the time all the days like 12 hours per day or maybe more like crazy uh, uh, but I the first time that I start to most of the time I, I used to work with uh, traditional media and then I moved to uh, digital media when uh, I started to see that all the people in, in the industry was using Photoshop, Wacom, and for me it was uh, really hard to, to, to learn this because I came more from old school or uh, I, I, I started to have my first computer at the age of 26. Uh, I was like a guy, I continue to be a guy like without any idea of technology and trying, but <laughs> it's, it's tough for me. Uh, <laughs> you want to ask me another thing or, yeah, it, it was a long no, 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 trip. Listening. That's good. Yeah, it was a long <laughs> trip. And uh, in my country, uh, probably in Argentina, in South America, it's not common to, to, to work uh, in video games or um, movies or we have a really good um, uh, uh, history of uh, comic artists in Argentina and also animation to the animation but uh, at, at, at this time in 1997 1998 I remember that just only one company in Argentina was doing video games and, uh, and I was there I was the first guy there uh, it, it, it was uh, half lucky, half uh, trying to push me and improve. Like I was in the perfect moment, in the perfect situation, but again, I was trying to find the job, and uh, I think was not all lucky. Uh, uh, yeah, if I talk really fast, please tell me. Oh, that's, that's quite <laughs> it's not a problem, okay. really. And now, they will have yeah, yeah all, all those who don't understand English they will have the subtitles later on in Russian so don't worry about that okay okay <laughs> and now uh, well uh, now I can say that I have uh, 13 14 years working in video games and also doing uh, illustrations for 
comics, and graphic novels, also movies. Um, and now, uh, uh, the last, uh, I started to live in UK, in uh, Europe, uh, two years ago. And uh, nowadays, I'm working in Creative Assembly as a senior concept artist. I see. Right. <sighs> Okay, that's good. And this, uh, the next question, uh, what were your biggest projects when you worked on? Uh, I did a lot of big projects, but most of the project was like uh, not like a famous project. Uh, I worked for uh, mobile games, uh, PC games, uh, console games. The, the most famous game that I did, but I'm not proud, was uh, Alien Colonial Marines was a really mm -hmm. was a really bad game, but I learned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but I learned a lot because uh, I work there uh, three years doing uh, environment art and also vehicles, and uh, for me it was a really good uh, school for me. Uh, and I did uh, Halo Wars, Halo Wars Two. Uh, I work in. Um, I did a couple of uh, concept for. I remember this game, Fear, and uh, well, I trying to find. Well, uh, uh, my first movie was released uh, last year, and I work for uh, Skull Island, the movie of King Kong, the new movie. Mm -hmm. uh, That's great. Yeah, oh. yeah. And now I, I'm working in a in a new film. It's a secret film. For the moment, I, I can't say nothing. Oh. But it's a I can say only that it's a it's a movie of a video game. Movie of the video game. Yeah, cool. it's a famous, famous video game. <laughs> and uh, maybe we just guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And uh, usually, you know, uh, I think the 100% of the movies about video games was really bad movies uh, it's complicated <laughs> yeah for example I try to remember Doom for example uh, horrible movie uh, Assassin Squid yeah yeah it's not a good movie also <laughs> it's complicated sometimes uh, a video game could be amazing but when you are trying to move the the plot the story to a movie don't don't works uh, exactly the same like it's complicated. Also the same, when you are trying to move a movie to a video game, uh, sometimes mm -hmm. uh, it's complicated to find exactly the success. I just have so many games, like the one which movies were bad and it was, you know, <laughs> it's, it's mostly just for the fans usually, but yeah. yeah. One day, one day. Hope that yours movie will be great and we'll enjoy it. So I, for the moment, I'm, just... I'm doing the pitch. I don't know if uh, the movie is going <gasps> to continue, but it's, it's a pitch. And uh, I hope that <laughs> in two or three months I will know that if I have uh, more uh, emails to do because it's a pitch. But I believe in the, in the, in the director and also I believe in the project. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Okay, uh, let's move on on the more active part. Uh, so tell us about your pipeline in the illustrations. So yeah, and just open the Photoshop so that yes. people wouldn't see. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Can you see yeah. my computer? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sorry, what yes. Nice. Okay. Yes. I, I I have here. Uh, I I was trying to find. I used to do. Uh, I, I used to write a lot of tutorials in for two D magazine. Uh, 3D, total, total 3D. And, mm -hmm. uh, I found a couple of uh, a couple of uh, really good example of, of my pipelines. Uh, for example, maybe you know this. Uh, no, this maybe you know uh, uh, this uh, image that I did a uh, long time ago, <laughs> maybe two years or three years ago. I usually uh, let me see if it's working. Happen. It's black, uh, no? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. Uh, let me try again. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, usually, when I, when I don't know what I need to do, uh, especially when you are working in concept art, it's not the same like if you are working uh, doing uh, illustrations. Usually, uh, I can say this because I have experience, usually people from uh, artists, they think that they are concept artists just because uh, they are doing image, like random image. Uh, it, there is a big difference between uh, be an illustrator and be a concept artist. In my case, I think that a concept artist is, is a guy that have ideas and uh, designs. An illustrator is a guy that likes to tell stories in one image. Could be for a magazine, book, uh, graphic novels, uh, whatever. But concept art is another story. It's about um, design. Uh, and it's not more about uh, your render or your your final image or your how you publish the image, whatever. It's about ideas. And, Usually, when uh, in a co in a company, when you are trying to find uh, someone for a position of concept art, uh, the people start start to apply with the portfolio, and they they usually are more illustrators than concept artists. They think that because they are doing image, they think that oh, I can apply to this uh, job because I know how to do concept, and a concept usually is something that could be, for example, a vehicle. Could be a could be a character or could be a landscape or environment, but uh, we are trying to design. Could be a design for a movie. Could be a design for a video game. Could be a design for I don't know advertising. But uh, we are trying to find uh, exactly uh, an idea and really fast. And that's the reason why uh, how 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 it start to work in in my case, for example. Uh, I usually work with shades, like here. Uh, in this case, I was trying to do a vehicle, uh, like a, a Mad Max vehicle, uh, a crazy vehicle, and um, I, I usually start with the lasso tool, uh, trying to find a, a shape, a thumbnail, and then uh, when I complete the, 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 the silhouette, I I move uh, and I start to put lines, just uh, like uh, landmarks, just tr trying to find um, volume, light, shadows, and then I, I select one of uh, these thumbnails that I have, uh, and then I move to the final, final, one well, final sketch, I can say, because this is a, a small sketch. Uh, can you see this image? Yeah, it's looking good in the screen. Yep. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. Um, then uh, maybe uh, I start to move more in the design. Uh, for the moment, it's, it's a boogie. It's a it's a it's a a car for for the, the desert or something like this. But nothing nothing interesting. It's a it's a, a vehicle with four wheels and. Um, Machine gun, I think, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the next uh, step in my case, I was trying to do a, a, a keyframe. A key a keyframe could be more than uh, rather, uh, more uh, more than like a illustrator illustration uh, because uh, you are trying to uh, put all the ideas in one shot. Uh, you are thinking about perspective, composition. And it's not only about one uh, object, like this uh, car. Okay, uh, I usually start with this simple, this simple uh, uh, geometric image, and then uh, when I know the composition, how is the composition, the lighting, the shadows, then I move to uh, the, the technique part. Uh, how I start, uh, especially with per perspective. I usually, when I'm doing something complicated, like a robot, uh, something uh, sci-fi could be a spaceship, uh, something complicated, I usually try to focus more in geometric uh, shapes first, to don't complicate my mind. I, I want to lose my way. And then I start to blocky all the stuff with a typical uh, uh, 
box uh, uh, shapes, and then I draw inside of this box uh, the wheels, and I start to put again all the the the, the objects in the composition, and then I move to the light. The light is really important. Uh, it's I always say this the same. If you don't know how to how to use the light, uh, probably you're gonna destroy a good image. If you you can be really good at drawing uh, 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 using the lines. You can be uh, amazing doing I don't know uh, characters, uh, vehicles, weapons. But when you are trying to put color or uh, volume, you need to understand how it works. The light and the light is is is. It, it will be uh, like the art director of your image because with the light you you select a special areas that you want to put the uh, how you say the focus and uh, well this is the, the way that I work uh, if I want to render uh, the wheel I use the lasso tool and then I I put the the light on the on the top and the shadow on the bottom and then I start to have a, a, a better image in terms of uh, render. This is the way that I see the stuff. Uh, I did this just only for the tutorial. Uh, I draw again the vehicle, uh, but with the simple shapes. And uh, I put the base colors just to imagine how it's going to be the image with the colors, uh, light, shadows. If you want to do a question in the middle, you can you, you can ask. Okay. Yeah, because I'm moving really fast, and maybe it's not easy. It's not a pro it's not a problem. Please. Okay. Told us. Mm. Sorry, I'm drinking water, um, and uh, be patient with me because uh, sometimes it's complicated to understand my English. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, well, I'm trying to be simple. Okay, when I. When I get uh, the color base, you can see, uh, I, I put the color base uh, in a new layer, uh, and then I start to render again. I start to put, uh, when you have the light, you need to put the shadow. I always work like this, light, shadow, light, shadow. It's the only way to get contrast, and also understand, you, 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 you get the, the, how you say, the forms, the shapes, really easily, using contrast. This is a funny example, um, how I mix the colors. In the first uh, image, uh, you have the color base. The color base could be red, violet, orange, green, uh, whatever, it, it, it will be the, the how you say, the, the color, uh, the, the color that you will have in all the images all the time. At the end, could be a, a warm image, um, could be a cold image. It depends about the. The most important is the color base. Then you have the local color. What is the local color? Yeah, it, it. I always put the same example. Uh, you know that the apple is red. No, the apple is red. The tree is brown and green. The grass is 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 green. This is a, the local color. Then you have the ambient color. The color base could be in this case. For example, if you have an apple uh, in, a, in, a, in, 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 a, in a table, and the table is, uh, is not white, is for example, could be, uh, could be green, could be uh, uh, blue, you're going to start to mix colors between the local color and the color base. And then at the end, the mix, it will be uh, orange plus uh, blue plus green plus, and also depend about the, the material. It, it, it starts to be more, more complicated, I know. Uh, if you are using, for example, uh, something that is metal or something that is fabric or is wood, um, the colors work in different way. The, how they reflect the light, how 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 is the shadows, the strong shadows, they are gonna change because uh, you have different materials. Uh, uh, well, this is an example how I render a wheel, but it's not fun. 
uh, it's, a, <laughs> it's something really technical, but I try to put in a really easy way for, for, for students. Uh, but again, it's about light and shadows. And if you if you don't you don't understand how 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 works the light and shadows in simple geometric forms, you're never gonna get uh, something uh, in really good quality of render. That's the reason why you need to go to study. You need to go to the university. You need to study how to draw uh, an apple, uh, uh, an ab a bottle of wine, or uh, this kind of simple uh, exercise that usually in the first year of the university you, you, you start to learn how to do compositions, how to work with values, how to work with uh, perspective. And again, if you understand this exercise, then you can create complicated vehicles, complicated robots, complicated... Uh, I don't know, interiors, environments, because you understand how how work the light and the shadows. Um, in this case, uh, well, the image starts to have more uh, render, but again, usually the people say, well, how, how, for how long you spend working in this image? Because it looks amazing with a lot of, a lot of detail. I, I usually say, well, for example, could be one week, could be four days, but the trick, to get a, a, a image with a really good uh, render is you need to be smart uh, when you select, uh, when you render uh, specific areas. You don't need to render the entire image because you're gonna spend like one month or three months in one image and at the end you die. You, you will see, you will say like, uh, it's impossible, I can work like this. Uh, uh, no, the trick is you need to understand what what part of the image is the most important, and then you render you you you're gonna render this part and the uh, the sixty percent of the image you can uh, leave like in forty percent of uh, render and it's it's gonna look amazing just because you render exactly the the specific uh, specific areas that they are uh, important for the the image. Uh, let me show you. Uh, in this case, well, this is the step up by step of the render. It's not easy to to see in a. I'm gonna try to use uh, the the zoom. Oh, it's not working. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, well, this is an, an old computer, and also I'm really bad with computers. Sorry. Uh, Oh. It's not a problem. Ah, uh, yeah. Give me a second. <laughs> uh, going back. Yeah. Uh, in this case, I don't remember what I want trying to say. Same contrast, same contrast. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, again, uh, I have a lot of tricks just to pop up more the image. In this case, uh, when you have uh, the same contrast, in the foreground and the, in the background, uh, at the end, uh, all, uh, all the images start to have this. Uh, all the all the objects in the image start to have the same important uh, value. And for 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 this reason, if you want to pop up more uh, the foreground, uh, you need to put in uh, in fog. You can put fog uh, on the on the background. To get more uh, contrast in the foreground, uh, yeah, like here. At the end, the front wheel looks more uh, impressive because I put uh, fog on the on the background, and also because it's the desert. Uh, and then at the end, you can use uh, blur, and then uh, use your erasure to remove uh, specific areas just to pop up more the image and at the end you focus in the center of the image because uh, you're gonna get more detail and uh, uh, around the left area and the right area you, you're gonna see the blue stuff because it, it's not important and it's an easy way to finish uh, a, a, an image really fast 
using the blur because you are tired to work in one image and you can concentrate in uh, in one part. I don't know. <laughs> well, this is a is a is an example how I work with this kind of complicated image like this uh, big car. I have another tutorial, like an old, an old tutorial also. Uh, if you have one uh, a question, you can ask me. Вышла лекция Романа Куприянова «Пайплайн в иллюстрации или как улучшить свою работу». Советы и подсказки. Ссылка в описании. I wonder if we have any questions for now. I think that they will just ask you questions at the end. after the tutorial, yeah, okay. at the end. Okay, here, so that instructions, yeah. not all the people know that uh, I love, uh, I love uh, cartoon, <laughs> cartoon. Usually the people mm -hmm. think like, uh, you know, Ignacio loved to do uh, sci-fi or maybe he liked to work in, in, in Imas with uh, big battles or but the truth is that I I, I start in the, in this industry working as an animator, traditional animator, and uh, I love Pixar. I love Disney, and um, I did this uh, fun tutorial. I think four years ago or five years ago. I don't remember. But it, this tutorial is really good in in terms of how how you work with colors. Usually, usually people uh, have. A, have a lot of issues with colors and especially with digital media because uh, nowadays not more not all the artists but the new generation of artists they start uh, using Photoshop or uh, digital media at the beginning and uh, for for this reason sometimes you you, you you don't know how to mix colors and you, you forget the rules. Uh, just because you start uh, using uh, digital media uh, at the first time. In my case, uh, uh, I because I came from traditional media, I I I know how to fake uh, traditional media with digital media. I know how to get this sensation of uh, oil or watercolor or whatever uh, because I understand how how, how they work the colors and it's something. Really easy to, to learn in one week, I can say. The most complicated to learn is how to draw. Uh, this is the most complicated uh, step. And it's the most important because it's uh, the structure of uh, your image. If you don't know how to draw proportions or anatomy, you're never going to be a good artist. Uh, in this case, I was trying to do something funny uh, with a cartoon uh, uh, character, I, I imagine like a frog in the middle of a city drinking coffee and, and like a crazy guy and uh, all the people uh, start to talk about him like who is this guy, why is he here and uh, I start to draw uh, different characters, funny characters uh, and in this case uh, I, I talk about colors and distance you can get uh, distance with uh, black and white and also with uh, warm colors and uh, um, cold colors. Like uh, you can use blue and violet or green for the background and you can use warm colors for the foreground. And also you can use colors for contrast. You can work in the, in the first part, you can work with the warm colors and uh, uh, use the, the the violet just to pop up more and the opposite. In this case, you can use cold colors and a warm color in the middle just to pop up the main character. And in this case, you can use uh, gray colors. Uh, you can use one value and then you can choose whatever you want. Could be green, orange, whatever. But uh, it's important to know if you if you want to pop up uh, the most important thing in the image, you you need to think about the colors, and the colors are your ally, allies for you because if you know how to use the colors, you can you can get an interesting uh, image. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, you remember I was talking about the local color, the ambient color. In this case, uh, the violet is the ambient color, and the green 
the, the green, the, the orange, the violet are the local color. For example, the jacket is purple, violet. The skin of the frog is green. The skin of the human people is orange. And the color ambient is violet. Then uh, how I how I think about the composition using colors. Sometimes I like to do this kind of a small thumbnails th thumbnails with colors. Uh, I, I don't care about, uh, for example, uh, how it looks uh, my lines. I, I don't care about the proportions. I I think about composition using colors. And then when I get the composition, when I know what is happening in the, in the image, I, I start to work again in the light. I select the, the light. I put a funny example here. Uh, I, 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 can, I can give you a recommendation because usually uh, it's better for you to work with only one or two uh, point of light because if you use more than two uh, uh, how do you say uh, I'm trying to find the, the word in English if you have uh, the sun and also if you have uh, another uh, uh, extra light so, yeah, yeah. Source, mm -hmm. of, source of light yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. the image starts to be more complicated and more complicated because you need to start to render the image using three lights four lights at the end, it's a, it's a mess. I recommend you to use only one or maybe two. Uh, don't complicate uh, to you uh, using a lot of uh, source of uh, light. In this case, it's a step by step of, for example, how we start with the green, then I add uh, the, the light, I start to render. Uh, in this case, the same with the human face. And then I start to use the the color, the local color, the ambient color, and I mix the ambient color with the skin. And I get purple, uh, violet, uh, between orange and, uh, and gray. Uh, at the end, I get uh, a really good render. Again, how I mix the colors, violet, orange, light. <laughs> and usually the common mistake when you don't know how to uh, um, how to work with the the, the geometric uh, forms? Usually, uh, a junior artist he would put the, the light in the middle, and uh, it's gonna look like this, like a pillow. It's a typical way to 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 render an image without any idea of how to put the light. In this case, is a uh, well when you when you start to understand how it works the the light. You put the, if the light is here, you put the highlight here, here in the nose, and you get the shadows moving here, like in this case. Uh, again, about the render, I, I will put all the energy in the face, and then uh, the render is going to start to be less render, less render, less render. At the end, the legs is only two colors, and I don't care. You, you think that uh, the image looks like 3D just because I render only the face, because it's the most important area of, in, the, in, the, in the image. Again, how I work about uh, using shadows, you can use the shadows just to pop up more uh, the, the, the main part of the image, in this case, the frog. And this is part of the story, but it's not so important, and you can use a big shadow just to pop up more the character in the middle. Again, how, you, how, I, lose the, how I use the colors, how I mix the colors. And I use, again, the blur just to remove the details on the background, and I concentrate in the, in the middle. Uh, oh, I think this is uh, not too much. Let me see. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, Magic. <laughs> but uh, this is a this is this is an old tutorial. But uh, again, I, I I always try to to show in simple way how you can 
how you can move to uh, from uh, from the line art and then try to get uh, something with render. Then I I, I found uh, another example. I'm trying to open Photoshop. This is a simple spaceship. Uh, I'm gonna remove all the layers. This is how I start. For example, uh, in this case, I, I remember I did this really fast, like in 30 minutes. Uh, you can see I that I'm working with a three point of view, uh, say three point of view in perspective. Um, and then I draw like the shape of the design inside of uh, this uh, this area, and then I work uh, putting uh, more stuff, that just trying to get more composition, a story behind the ship, and then the light, the lighting again, color using overlay and then I don't like the city I remove the city and I say at the end I'm gonna keep only the spaceship more render uh, you can you can spend all the day trying to get something more uh, cool I don't know what it is <laughs> it's, it's a copy this is a uh, yeah well, uh, I don't know if uh, you want to see something from the scratch or uh, if you if you want to do if you want to ask questions about how about something. A lot of our viewers were asking about the frog, how you come up with that idea, like how you just, you know, capture all that. Was it like the first idea, like, okay, everything is fine? Or do you spend like, okay, so just how do you capturing your ideas for, for your drawing? Just uh, I know, I know that, uh, I know, for example, it's nowadays, nowadays, uh, com the competition uh, about being creative when I when I start to work in in in, in this uh, industry, I remember that we was only like four hundred people work doing uh, concept art around the world, maybe more. But nowadays, is you you go inside of an art station and you start to cry because the people <laughs> there are, is impressive. Uh, and when you read that, yeah, I'm I'm an, a, a student, and you then you see the the portfolio is impressive. And uh, nowadays it's so complicated to find something uh, original because we usually we are trying to to uh, to to find new ways to communicate to to create new stuff for your portfolio to get that new job and uh, it's really hard to find the original ideas and uh, uh, because of that you, you you need to to stop looking other artists and then you need to start to think about. What is uh, funny, fun for you? For example, could be in my case uh, when I was trying to. I remember I, when I did this uh, tutorial about the frog. They asked me, "Can you create something with uh, humor?" Uh, and I say, "Humor, okay, humor. What could be humor?" And I, I was. I remember I was. Uh, I went to Paris, and I remember that the people was like this. They, they was drinking coffee all the time. Drinking beer, smoking in the street, uh, and uh, the people were so uh, how to say eccentric, eccentric, and uh, bohemian and crazy. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I was trying to 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 imagine uh, one idea for, for for this tutorial, and then I say uh, maybe if I draw something that is impossible to find in a normal situation. And then I drew a, a frog. I drew a frog, and uh, I was okay. Looks funny. I will continue doing this. And then, uh, then I I start to draw characters, more characters, like these uh, funny, funny characters, like uh, without any 
idea that what I'm, I, I will do. Okay, I start to draw a frog, then a fat girl, maybe uh, someone rich, maybe, uh, I don't know, people there. Uh, and then the, the first situation was it, this image. Like, it's a frog and uh, nothing happened. Uh, and then I start to think about uh, new compositions, like it could be this, could be this, could be this. And at the end, well, uh, this was the most simple way to explain uh, a tutorial. But yeah, the most important, I always say the same, the most important is the ideas, not how you draw, how you render an image, uh, if, you, if you can draw a weapon, or if you can draw, uh, I don't know, a big robot. Uh, it's about ideas. And if you want to find a job, uh, the people that they're going to start to see your portfolio, they, they will take care about your ideas, not your skills. Because nowadays the people, it's easy to, well, it's not easy, but you can you can spend two years, four years in, in a university or in your house trying to improve your skills about anatomy, about uh, colors, about compositions, but at the end, they, uh, they, you're going to start to be famous or whatever, or you're going to start to find job, jobs or freelance because you have uh, crazy ideas. It's the most important. And you can be uh, not so good uh, illustrator or not so good uh, 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 concept artist in terms of uh, render. But if, if you, your ideas are impressive, probably you're going to find a job really easy. I don't know. <laughs> um, so in that case, if we're talking about ideas, could you just tell us like what inspires you most? Because I saw in one of your interviews earlier, uh, it was said that uh, like music really influenced you yeah. and that you like drums or something like that, as far as I remember. So does music like do you listen to the music while uh, drawing and does it influence you, your art most not 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 only your mood but your art while you're drawing um for example uh, in my case and i think that is something that all the people need to have you need to have hobbies in my case uh, be an artist is 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 my job and also is something that i enjoy because i i I, I, I back from the, the studio all the days and I continue drawing just because I love to draw. But again, you need to have an extra uh, an extra thing in your life just to uh, to get more ideas for your for your uh, uh, imagination. In my case, I like to play drums. I, I like to play the guitar. I'm a fan of uh, motorcycles. Uh, you can see in a lot of images that I, I like to draw motorcycles. Yeah, I like to fix engines. Uh, I, I like to, uh, especially I like old bikes. Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, now I have a Russian bike. I'm really fan of uh, Russian bikes. I have a, <laughs> I have a, a, an Ural, Ural bike with a sidecar. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's, I think it's the best bike because it's like a tank. It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible to break this bike. <laughs> Great. Yeah, yeah. In Russia, you don't ride a bike. The bike. <laughs> right. You. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. And uh, well, uh, this kind of stuff that uh, you have uh, extra stuff that you have in all, in your life give you more information for uh, for uh, illustrate. Uh, for draw, for concept art. Uh, now, for example, in my in my current job, I'm 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 working a, in a a new video game, a secret video game. It's gonna be impressive, but it's about it's sci-fi. I only can say it's sci-fi, but it's not fantasy sci-fi. It's something more, uh, more uh, how to say, uh, more uh, easy to believe, uh, and. Uh, I'm trying to to inspire uh, I listening music. For example, I'm listening listening right now Daft Punk. I love Daft Punk. Um, um, I like to see I, I like to see movies about uh, space, about uh, sci-fi. When I trying to find a, a new idea 
for a movie or for something that uh, I'm doing right now, could be a cover uh, image for a book or something. I usually try to get reference for movies, uh, not not too much for video games because I will say the truth. Most of the time uh, when I'm back home, I don't play games. I don't have time to play games and also I'm tired to see games. I, I like to do uh, other stuff. I, I I want to be to see movies, read a book, or drive my bike. Um, uh, I, I usually spend more free t- my free time drawing, uh, but not playing games. Uh, the games are more for inspiration. I usually take uh, YouTube and I see, I record uh, for one minute or two minutes video games just to get more reference. But I don't play games. <laughs> this is the truth. Wow. <laughs> You're probably one of the, I don't know. I don't even remember if we had anyone who doesn't play a game and working in a game dev as a concept artist. Quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people who don't play the games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because uh, it's, you spend all the day doing this and uh, you don't want to continue doing this. Uh, but because I, probably because I'm not, I, I'm not a game design. I'm just an artist, and I start to work in the industry of uh, video games, just because it was an accident, not because I was trying to find a job to to create games. Uh, I was trying to find a job uh, just to receive money all the months to spend time <laughs> drawing all the time. And do you think it's a good idea, like? Not to play in game because you know you have a fresh eye. Well, you know, don't watching like, hmm, uh, how to say it like, uh, because you don't uh, have anything like in your memory, you know, which you are unconsciously probably use in your drawings and stuff. You just uh, have inspiration from from other sources that will help you to you know distinguish your work from others and you know. Um, or, or just concept artists. It, it doesn't matter where you get your inspiration from and how you like. Do you play games? Do you use other games for your inspiration? And for example, like uh, I'm I'm so impressed about how they how they draw and they use the colors. The Russian people, they are they have a really good school about fundamentals. It's impressive. In especially in uh, St. Petersburg, I know that they have a really important university there. No. And uh, usually, my reference came from uh, Poland, Russia. Uh, uh, I'm a fan of uh, artists from Russia. I'm, I'm so impressed about how I, I've been. I, I've been in the museum of uh, Moscow of art uh, two years ago, and I I was there uh, and I was crying. Like this is impressive. Uh, I think that if I want to find. Uh, Inspiration. I usually try to find stuff from uh, people from uh, Russia. It's not because I'm talking with you and I know that you are from Russia. It's because I love, I love uh, how how they use the uh, colors, how how they work with the light and the contrast. It's impressive. You don't think the same? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And <laughs> another. Uh, Another question. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, it's now it's 24th century. The industry is developing very quickly. So, what do you think? What's the main task in life uh, for an artist in 21st century? Mm, it's a good question. Uh, I think in my in my case, in my case is. Uh, Trying to be uh, to create new stuff all the time, and uh, because nowadays the competition is really tough, and uh, but at the same time, more jobs uh, they are coming. Uh, the industry became really popular because uh, you can find jobs doing uh, doing films, doing uh, video games, comics, advertising. Um, you can do. You can work uh, doing tattoos. You can do uh, art in the streets. Uh, it's so uh, impressive the the, the 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 opportunities that we have right now. And uh, sometimes I think that in my case I need to start to study uh, 3D just to don't be uh, 
don't be became all uh, just trying to improve by tools. But then I, I, I think like, I don't need this. If I like to draw, and uh, at the end it's all about ideas. If I can do the same with 2D, uh, I think that I don't need to study 3D. Uh, but again, about being an artist in uh, nowadays, uh, is I, I can say that it's really hard because the competition, but at the same time, is a is a is a is a really good job. Uh, 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 I never have problem in my life to find jobs in in in, in one week. Uh, not because uh, I'm famous. I don't I don't think that I'm famous. I'm, I'm just a normal artist moving around the community. But uh, I think like uh, it's 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 impressive uh, how many jobs that you can find uh, there, uh, especially because with internet the new ways to communicate. Uh, it's really easy to move around the world with your computer, with your notebook, your sketchbook, and you can work uh, without uh, uh, with different nationalities, with different language, and uh, you can do your job in... in uh, I, I'm, I'm living in UK, for example. Uh, I can do the same in Argentina, I can do the same in the middle of a mountain. I can... I only need internet, nothing more. <laughs> and my talent, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and to see, and just, we have a lot of questions about, you know, the hardware and things like that. So, and you just now said that, well, just the two major things for me, like all you need is the internet, the one thing, internet, and second... Uh, internet, uh, one computer, and... Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that's, yeah, obviously, <laughs> that's obviously. obvious. And a small tablet, for example, I'm using right now, uh, I have an Intro 3, Intro 3. I don't care about the the the, the, the how say the model of the Wacom. I, I I usually recommend Intros 2 or 3 because they are the best models for me. The new ones are really bad uh, in terms of touch mode and uh, I don't know. They they start to 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 do this uh, Wacom in China. They used to came from Japan, but nowadays they came from China and then. And the and the level of the, mo the models are really low for me, and I, I per usually it's more cheap to find something really old like a uh, Intel three. Uh, uh, in the office I have um, a Cintiq uh, twenty seven, the, the new one, and I love the size of the screen, but it came with a lot of problems in terms of drivers. It's so complicated because. Windows 10 and the new drivers uh, of Syntix are really bad. Mm -hmm. I prefer to use Windows 7. I prefer old stuff. They works better than the, the new stuff. And you don't need money. You don't. You can find a Wacom for only 20, 20 pounds on, on eBay, maybe. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. I I remember I used to don't have money to. To 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 nothing. Uh, I was really not not poor, but I was like uh, uh, living with my family, uh, with my brothers. I have four bro more brothers, and uh, without without computer, without money, without any idea about how to speak English, uh, and uh, I start to find jobs just because I used to go to the cinema, for example, take my my notebook. And at the end of the movie, take the names of the art director, take the name of the concert artist, and I go and then go back to my home, put the names in the uh, in the computer, and try to find the the, the contact. And I say, I I saw your movie. I would like to work with you. I, I send this message, and I start to receive jobs just because I do this. I did this. Really stupid, but works for me. <laughs> okay. So actually, yeah, but that the main idea I didn't just ask the questions yet. So please just 
just one second so yeah actually about the hardware you told already that it's not that important but you have just to have the connection that the most important for concept artists is idea and not like the quality of drawing and stuff hmm. and at the moment like the recent years we have all the news about you know like the i don't know the neural neural networks and a lot of like different devices like i uh iPads, you can use uh, whatever you like. like. Like, do you think all this new software, all this new hardware just will help artists in their work or it will, you know, uh, somehow make their work less valuable for, for the, I don't know, the employee and, and things like that? No, or no. Or you think it's just, just, because they have a lot of discussion about that, like, oh my God, just in a few years, like, no one needs an artist because the computer will do everything for you. No, and I don't that, believe this. I don't mean, imagine, you can, do, you can uh, for example, nowadays you can, if you don't know how to draw, you can uh, find a model in 3D, you can put the pose of the character and you can draw the color, uh, over, overdraw the character in a new layer. <clears throat> but at the end, you know, the most important thing is uh, uh, your, how you say, your expression, your soul as an artist, and the technology never gonna replace this. Like, uh, you can see, for example, in the traditional media, you can see how it work the brush when you concentrate uh, looking the the details of a uh, portrait or landscape in digital media also you can see how it's work uh, the, the the how 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 it's work the artist using the brushes because you can see the move of the sh the shapes of the brush and it's something that i think that you can emul emulate this uh, a computer can try to do a perfect render, or but then you always they gonna need uh, someone uh, helping the computers. For example, um, now you can uh, 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 ten years ago the, you you can uh, you can use uh, 3D or uh, 3D to replace uh, in movies uh, the actors, the actress and the actors, but they continue using actors because. You can replace the face. You can replace the expression of the, the the artist. Also, the same for me for illustration and concept art. Uh, again, you need to find ideas, and the computers they can do random ideas, but uh, it's not the same. Uh, if I, I don't know, uh, 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 look at me. Uh, I don't know how to use uh, 3D. I don't know how to use a, co a normal computer. <laughs> I just know how to draw, I can say, maybe, and I know how to use colors, and I, I have ideas. And I have, because I have ideas and experience, I think that my job, uh, I will continue working as an artist all my life. And uh, at the end, if I need to, to I, I became uh, really old, and maybe the new artist came, came uh, to the industry with more fresh ideas, I will become uh, a director or maybe a mentor or someone that I, I continue doing stuff, teaching people how to do uh, uh, the things, because the experience also is really important. Ideas and experience. Uh, now, for example, in my team, I have, a, uh, I have two, two young um, concept artists. I can say that they are impressive as an artist, uh, I remember when I used to have 20, 21, my level of uh, art was so bad if I compare with the new generation of uh, concept artists. The industry grew up really well, and uh, nowadays the people started to be more and more and more impressive. But again, I have more experience. And uh, these guys with impressive portfolios or impressive uh, image, uh, they don't know the things that I know, and I usually they came to me to ask me, Ignacio, what do you think about uh, this image that I did? And I usually, when I change just a small thing, the image looks impressive. Not because uh, I'm better than this artist, it's because I know this, I, I, I pass this, uh, I have the same problem in my life, I resolve this problem, I, I know how to resolve this problem, and I can teach how to resolve this problem. Then you can be a, an amazing artist. It's, 
uh, but uh, the experience also is really important. Okay, that's great. And so, thank you for answer. Yes, and <laughs> talk about technology. As Alice already said, the new technical uh, sorry <laughs> technologies have appeared. And what did you personally like most about new technologies? VR, maybe free in Photoshop and things like that. Uh, I really like, for example, that now you can draw in, uh, with uh, the, this new. Uh, Tablets, uh, uh, this tablet from uh, uh, iPads, they are impressive. I try, uh, I try, and I, I love this. Uh, but I don't want to buy this probably because I will broke this. <laughs> because uh, uh, yeah, uh, especially when you are moving around uh, with your bag, uh, I don't want to lose this. It's expensive, but I know that it's uh, it's, it's really good for the artists. Uh, what, what more I can say? Uh, you need you need to you need to learn. You don't need to. Uh, I, I know that you, I need to learn new technologies. They are really important. They're gonna help you to be more fast, more uh, competitive. But they again, they never uh, gonna replace uh, your knowledge about art. Uh, you can have a really good technology, really good tools, but they are tools, only tools. But the tools always are for you to help you to work more fast. And you know, time is money, especially in concept uh, in the concept universe, especially in video games. Okay, great. <laughs> Let's go to the next question and uh, one more just, thing. Yeah, just I don't know. Do we have any like continue anything with the uh, with tutorials or? or uh, yes, just, uh, I know. Or, that I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I can do in a uh, in thirty minutes or one hour. Uh, but what do they would like to see or uh, because I don't. Uh, I, I don't know, the idea could be, I don't want to show like how I draw a face, how I draw a motorcycle. It's like, uh, they know, all the people, they know how to draw a face, how to draw a car or, uh, I don't know, but I, I, can do, I, I can do this if you want. Okay, so, so I'll just ask from our viewers and... And I told something in Russian, uh, just one, for about one minute, please. Ah, just, okay, okay. sorry, sorry. Uh, I need to tell one uh, thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, ребят, в общем, собственно, Игнация спрашивает, что вы хотите вообще видеть, потому что осталось где-то примерно час времени, и он говорит, что я, в общем-то, конечно, не хочу uh, показывать, как рисовать лицо, как рисовать мотоцикл и так далее. Поэтому, если у вас есть какие-то четкие пожелания, потому что вы хотите, то пишите, давайте сейчас в чатике, и мы посмотрим... В общем, какие будут предложения, придумаем что-нибудь. Да, я сделаю небольшое объявление, которое безумно важно. На самом деле, ребят, такая история. Для тех, кто не в курсе, может быть, те, скажем так, люди, которые уже увидят это видео на YouTube, только об этом узнают. Мы начали небольшую, типа, краудфандинговую кампанию. Мы улучшаем качество контента на канале и решили ни от кого не зависеть. И чтобы постоянно не брать камеру в аренду, мы э, собираем на камеру. И в описании к этому видео будет, разумеется, ссылочка на сбор средств. Естественно, всех причастных мы обязательно поблагодарим и отчитаемся в виде фото и, соответственно, видео отчета. Поэтому, если заинтересованы, чтобы помочь, ссылка для тех, кто смотрит стрим, будет в чате стримов, а для тех, кто увидит это на YouTube, будет в описании. So, let's go. Yeah. So we ask, but people are just not answering yet. Okay. But they yeah have a lot of questions about <laughs> the, any you know kind of books probably for coloring, ah, nice. the color uh, and things like that. Yeah, usually, in, for example, uh, you are, are you looking right now my portfolio in our station? Yes. No. I'm in our station so, right now. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a big uh, difference between, for example, this this kind of uh, illustrator uh, using the colors and the render, and this kind of illustrations, uh, not not this one. For example, this one. 
Uh, in this case, uh, I use, uh, as you can see, I use line, and then I, I use uh, um, um, the brush in in 100% of uh, opacity, like this, for example. Uh, let's try it here. Now I'm trying. Uh, nowadays I'm trying to back to the lines because uh, most of my image in my portfolio, uh, I usually uh, I usually start with the uh, with a simple base of uh, line, uh, and then uh, uh, at the end I move uh, forward with using only brush, big brushes, and and color. I go. I move directly with the color. I'm trying to find. Um, If you have a question, tell me. Or you know, receive answers or questions. Yes, you know the the biggest question is about uh, how many times uh, you need to do the illustration, uh, like with the spaceship. Uh, how many takes it take? For example, the astronaut. After an hour. Uh, the, the, so fast? No, 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 no. The, the astronaut. This astronaut. The, the astronaut. He's uh, <laughs> a Russian astronaut. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it depends. Uh, the most hard part is is this part when you are doing this and you are thinking like what I'm, what I'm gonna draw like uh, what is the idea? The idea is the most hard part because you are thinking about yeah I'm I'm drawing a, an astronaut like and then what what is gonna happen with this and you you start to do like a, a lot of a lot of uh, sketch. Uh, and then uh, this kind of sketch can take you like uh, the entire day uh, uh, or maybe only one hour and then uh, when you get the idea the most easy part is a render because you know how to uh, when you study the fundamentals you know how to uh, use the light use the colors use uh, the, your brush and at, 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 the, at the end it's about I don't know, it could be about four days to finish one image, four or five days, maybe less, uh, because because uh, the technique is something that you can learn. The ideas, no. I can't explain to you how I find ideas, because <laughs> my, it's in my mind, like, uh, what? Yeah, that's personal. Yeah, it's personal. It's how I see the life, how uh, I can't teach you this, but I can teach you how... Yeah, how I put the shadow, how I put the light, and uh, yeah, usually it take me like like four days, uh, five days to get to get a, 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 an image. But I suffer a lot when I'm trying to get the idea, like what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, and the the client is waiting for me, and I start to see no, I don't like, 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 and then. In, at this moment, you start to lose money because because you are spending a, a lot of time in the in the in the sketch. But it's really important the sketch. If you move forward directly to the final image without uh, your idea, maybe at the end you spend you spend more time trying to fix your image because you you don't spend time you don't spend more time with the, uh, with the sketch. It's really important the sketch. Mm -hmm. So, I actually have another question for yeah. you. Uh, so, you're now a leading concept artist, right? Uh, no, no, I'm not a lead. I'm a senior concept artist. I used to be. Uh, uh, I, I was a, an, art, an art director, but only for six months. But yeah, it's but, but but still. So you have an experience yeah, yeah, of being yeah, yeah. like you're leading, and you know to be um, to, to lead other artists. And I actually have a question, like uh, because you have a great experience in, in industry. So do you have any like differences from before, like the juniors which come working? Like, is there any difference 
for those who come, I don't know, 10 years ago, for example, and expectation that uh, nowadays juniors who come working in the industry, like, do they differ that much? Uh, what's the problem with them? How you treat them? How you do, like, do you, from your perspective, yeah. how, how you're trying to help them? Which advice is like, I hope that you got an, an idea because it's a bit different, uh, difficult to probably to yeah, tell you yeah, yeah, <laughs> what exactly I mean with that. Yeah, yeah I, I understand what you're trying to say. For example, when, when, you're, when you're a lead or when you are the boss, First, usually all the people hate you because <laughs> you need to say, like, can you do this again? Can you do this again? I don't like. Why you don't like? Because if I can do, if, if I have the chance to do this, I will do like this. And it's really hard to change the work of, of someone. Uh, uh, in, it's something personal. Art is personal. And sometimes uh, juniors, artists, and uh, concept artists, uh, they think that, well, my idea is the most important idea. I'm going to try to put this idea in the game because I'm the best artist. And then you have the art director of the lead and he came to your desk and he said, like, uh, uh, can you move forward? Can you do another image? Can you do another option? Uh, at the end, they say, no, at the end, we're not going to use any image. And you start to be angry. You start to 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 want to kill all the people. Like why? I I'm I'm really good and and it's about work in a video game. is about working in a team. Your art is not more personal. It's not your art. Uh, it's a uh, it start is something that you share with all your team. Uh, at the end, one idea is not your idea. It's the idea of all the team. And it's something that you need to learn how to be. Uh, how to share your talent and uh, think about like uh, okay this is gonna be part of the game but it's not my idea it's a, this idea came from my art director came from my colleague came from me but not it's, it's not my idea when you realize this you start to enjoy the, the, the work and uh, in my case in my experience usually we have problem with this the artists they take all really personal and uh, when you say something negative, negative could be a critic, like, uh, no, you need to re redo this part because it uh, feels, like, wrong, the perspective is wrong, the anatomy is wrong, or the idea, the design is not correct, or I don't like the design, check again the reference, it's really important, the reference, and um, you need to know how to communicate your ideas, and you need to uh, as a boss, as a leader, you need to know uh, your dreams and you need to be really good uh, trying to share your dreams and your ideas to all the team. Uh, it, and this is a really tough uh, job because usually, I, I, as I say, usually all the team hate you because you are the boss. You need to say no, yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, the the concert parties and uh, uh, and the junior artists they need to 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 learn how to work in a team, and they need to forget that they're gonna be the rock star inside of the company, and uh, uh, and they they need to learn. And uh, sometimes when you are uh, the boss, uh, that's the reason why I don't like to be the boss. You you stop drawing. You only need to do meetings all the time. You need to put the, do re corrections, but you don't have time to spend in the kitchen. As I say, like you don't have time to cook something. Uh, you became more someone uh, like a common common uh, boss in an office rather than uh, an artist. And that's the reason that I don't like too much to be the boss. Because I like to draw all the time. I, w I like to be part of the team. I like to 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 work uh, in a team. Okay. And there is a lot of uh, questions from our, from our subscribers about uh, 
like not the inspiration probably but uh which art probably traditional art influenced you most or maybe it was a book or maybe it was a movie like something which you think uh somehow changed your i don't know ah, really hard really hard this for example, for example i like uh caravaggio i like um, uh, i like uh, um, william turner is a british uh, painter uh, i like i really i really like uh, ocean ocean um, situations i like uh, ships ocean ships uh, i don't know i try to remember someone for rembrandt for example uh, uh, velasquez is a spanish artist famous um I'm trying to remember another um, um, all the impressionist artists from France. Um, I love. Uh, I, I like color. Uh, I don't care too much. Uh, the, 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 for example, the, the lines, the the, the draw. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan. I prefer, I, I'm impressed about colors and composition rather than uh, uh, comic, for example. I'm not a fan mm -hmm. of comics. But I like, to, but uh, it's something uh, strange. I like to draw storyboards. It's, it's, it's like <laughs> a comic. But I, mm -hmm. I really like to draw the storyboards. And um, now I'm working drawing storyboards in the, the game that I'm doing right now. And I really enjoy this, um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't remember what, who was the the artist that uh, impressed me, and then I say like, okay, I'm gonna live all my life doing this because I want to become like this artist. I don't remember because I uh, I'm not good remember names. I remember paints, but I don't remember names. <laughs> But okay. And yeah. <laughs> next thing, next thing. Uh, how do you think? Uh, what needs to change in the industry so that artists are in demand as in the middle age like this? Or is just uh, what needs to change in the industry? What do you think? Uh, what needs to change in the industry? Mm, it's a good question. Uh, uh, let me see. Talking about art all the time. Uh, uh, I, I think like it's really hard for beginner artists to be part of industry because usually they ask for candidates with at least one year or two years of experience and to, to have experience you need to work and uh, uh, at the end, at the end, just because of this uh, kind of uh, how we say in English, uh, expect expectations in the in the in the jobs uh, recruitment, uh, at the end the market uh, the opportunities uh, get uh, low because uh, most of the people don't have one year of experience working in video games. Uh, usually, it's really hard to ha to to find a guy with more than two or three years doing video games, and companies need to realize that they need to create more trainee uh, opportunities to to get to give give more chance to to get more experience for all the artists. I think that this is something that need to change. Some companies they have these uh, kind of uh, roles like trainee. In my company, we have the the opportunity to contract people without any experience, and this is something really good. But I think that all the companies need need to have these programs. I think. Um, we have a lot of questions about difference in you know 
artist uh, from Argentina, and I will just <laughs> a bit change the question because I noticed that <clears throat> you know artists from I don't know Argentina, Spain, France, uh, countries like that, which quite sunny, uh, yeah. Brazil as well, they have some kind of I, I wouldn't say the same style, mm -hmm. but some kind of energy and some. Um, Difference in work with colors. Uh, I hope. Yeah, you I, I, what I mean. I, I agree with you. Eh? I agree with you yeah. because, for example, when I was talking about uh, Russian style, usually, mm -hmm. usually you relax really fast. Like when I in, a, in one second I can say this guy came from Poland, Ukraine, or Russia. I don't know why. <laughs> it, usually it's because the shadows, the light, or the the expression of the the portraits. Uh, in 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 my case, uh, Argentina, South America, yeah, countries with uh, more sun, with be better weather, <laughs> not like England. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was. Uh, usually, we are really good. Uh, I can see. I can see that we are really good with line, with colors, but they are more. We we use more um, shiny colors. Uh, we like uh, when I, I don't like to say this in, in general, but because there are a lot of artists with different style, but I can I can say that we have a really good school uh, in terms of comic uh, and illustrators, uh, and we know how to use the colors. The colors looks really happy colors. I think it's because the weather. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, it's really important this uh, how you spend your life, how is your environment. It's it's really important for your education, I think. Or it's just another source of influence for the art. And is it hard to work with uh, I don't know artists from the UK? <laughs> is it a difference? Because, no, really, yeah, I'm really yeah. interested it's because I, I think just so. You know, so many differences. It's just the contrast should be huge. Yeah, it's first it's hard because language. Uh, usually, usually British, uh, they they don't say they don't say the truth. They say, for example, when they see one image and they say, "Make sense." What is the meaning of "make sense"? Could be it's amazing. Could be I don't like. But uh, they, they they are really polite people. And for this reason, it's really hard to understand. Uh, you you really like this, or you you? I need to do an, uh, another option. They say, maybe. Uh, okay, let's try with another idea. But at the end, you don't know what they want. And uh, with uh, in terms of uh, art, uh, I don't I don't see big difference in uh, style. Because maybe I work more with people from other countries. My team is one one guy from Belgium, one guy from Ireland, one guy is from uh, um, Spain, uh, and uh, also one guy from Russia, and another from the uh, Czech Republic. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's, it's different. Uh, I don't know. The only problem is uh, communication. But for example, with my friend from Russia, uh, uh, we have I can I can say that we have the same way to see the the, the art. It's really easy for me to communicate with him, and also he is aggressive. He he say like it's a disaster. Change, motherfucker. <laughs> change this, motherfucker. And I say, of course, let's do it. It's it's another way to work. It's uh, he can say something really brutal. To me, and uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna run and cry, you know. I I I'm gonna start again. And I'll try to improve. But uh, talking with the British, you need to be careful. This is the only problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, if you could give only one piece of advice uh, to a beginning artist, what advice would what be? Ah, um, okay. Yeah, it, I have a lot of advice. First. Uh, do your portfolio, and then you're gonna ask, what? Well, how need to be my portfolio? My answer is will be like your portfolio need to be 
uh, you need to put first obviously the the best image that you have and also need to be something that you are interested to do for example if you like to draw vehicles please don't put in your portfolio image of uh, animals or the the portrait of your grandmother or uh, a study of that you did about how is the anatomy of a human body no you need to put exactly what you want to work if you want to become a concept artist uh, on films or uh, on video games or if you want to work with to blizzard or riot or um, uh, if you want to work uh, uh, doing uh, first person shooters video games you need to put in your portfolio image about first person you need to put image about vehicles and then you're gonna start to receive uh, jobs uh, because someone is gonna check your portfolio and they will see okay this guy he's really good doing robots it's the only way to find jobs you need to put exactly the image that you want to do uh, when you get a job if you draw uh, teddy bears yeah, probably you will see uh, contact of someone that wants to draw teddy bears if you draw a uh, Japanese or Chinese style with the uh, uh, handsome guys uh, with a big source probably you, you will start to receive a call from Asia to 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 work in uh, cards and uh, this kind of fantasy cards in my case I I, I, I try to uh, improve my portfolio right now because I'm tired to do cards because I, I would say the truth I don't like cards uh, it was an accident uh, I started to draw cards this kind of um, uh, Asian type, uh, style with armors and details. That's the reason why it's really important to to be really smart in, in, in with your portfolio. It's a really it's the most important for an artist. Your portfolio is the stuff that you know how to do. If you put uh, something that you don't know how to do, it's gonna be negative for you. And also, if you have a only five images to put in your portfolio please put these five images uh, it's really important to show you all the time as an artist it's the only way to work in the industry if you are waiting for a miracle in your home like uh, yeah why not me because it's, I'm not so good it's because you are not showing nothing like you are waiting for a miracle or you are waiting to be the best artist in the world and for 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 this reason you you spend more time at home improving improving but in your portfolio you don't have nothing you need to show something in your portfolio is that is a is a is your exercise to get jobs yeah this is my advice <laughs> <laughs> that's great yeah. and i usually yeah. <laughs> and i usually I, I did a lot of interviews and i usually i ask one question why you want to work in this company and they usually they don't know uh, uh, because it's famous they say no but you like to draw uh, dragons uh, no i like to draw weapons and why you are here no because the company is famous i want to work in a famous company no i remember i just to fi finish the this uh, uh, advice I have a really good advice. I was in the GDC, the Game Developer Confer Conference, uh, four years ago or three years ago, and I was trying to uh, find a job. I remember I was in the line with my portfolio, and I saw uh, Riot, uh, and I, I say, oh, I need to work in Riot. I did all the line, and then when I, I, I started to show my portfolio to the art director, the art director asked me, Okay, your staff is uh, amazing. I love your staff. And my question is, why you want to work for Riot? And I say, uh, because uh, it's a really important company, and I want I want to work with you. And uh, he said, okay, but look your portfolio. And I say, what 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 happened with portfolio? Look your style. You think like your style uh, is gonna be good for for riot 
And then I start to check my portfolio and I say, mm, uh, maybe no. Of course, you, you, I, I know that you can do the style of Riot, but my question again, you you be happy working with Riot? I would like to work with you, you're, with, he said. Your, your, your portfolio is amazing, you are a really good artist. Uh, I want to contract you now, but I know that you're not going to be happy in Riot. And then I stand and I say, okay, thank you for the advice. Maybe I want to work in another company. Uh, you know, sometimes it's not about the company, it's about what you want to do. And, so, and sometimes we don't know this answer. It's, we only want to work, but you need to ask this question. What do you want to do in your life? You want to be, you want to spend all your life drawing only characters? You want to work in films? You want to work in video games? And when you know this answer, then you're gonna start to improve your portfolio and focus your portfolio to your to your dream. Uh, yeah, this is my best advice that I can give you. Okay, great, and. Next thing, uh, how do you think, how quickly can a beginner artist get a job? What should uh, he do for this? Maybe some advice to get a job. <laughs> uh, how to answer the question, uh, something. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, to fast, very fast, uh, I don't know. Um, in my case, you need to take, uh, because you need, you need experience, you need to start to work uh, with people, uh, I don't know them, uh, without money, free, just for fun. You need to try to find people with good ideas and be involved with this. Could be a group of friends. You can create a personal project. Could be a small project. Could be like a, a small graphic novel. Could be uh, could be only five images about one short story that you have in your mind and then put this story in uh, your portfolio. Because if you don't have experience, the only way to get experience is by yourself. You need to start to create your stories, your material, and then again, because of that, you will find jobs. It's the only way. The first, the first part of uh, the career of uh, an artist is really poor, is is uh, desperate. It's not fun. Uh, it's not uh, fashion. It's not fancy. Uh, it's really tough. But uh, at the end, in one year or maybe in six months, you 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 can start to get results. But it's about you. It's about put your ass in a chair and work hard. And you need to start to show your stuff. If you don't get a job, create a job. You, you can create your job and you can create your project or work with someone uh, without salary and pro bono and uh, start to put the stuff in your portfolio. It's the only way to find jobs. Okay, great. Next, next question. Alice, you're here? Yeah. yeah. Always here. <laughs> a lot of questions about the difference in styles, and <clears throat> I think we talked about it uh, a bit earlier. But still, if we see, like, if we open your uh, art station, the earlier works really differs from the latest one, and not only the one in the similar style, but the I think it's the personal project with the bikes, right? Yeah. Uh, those one. So. Do you think, uh, like, we have a lot of questions about it, like, do you, should I have one style so that, uh, you know, art directors will see me and, and hire me because of this style, or should I be more... Um, flexible. Flexible, yeah. yeah, thank you for the word, because I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so flexible uh, and, you know, be able to draw in all, all kind of styles. So what would you think about that? Ah. Uh, what helps you to, to work in different styles? Of course, you have experience which not, everyone has but anyway uh, I feel like uh, you you have two ways to to get jobs uh, in terms of uh, your style uh, if you are really original if you have a style like it's really original I, I think that you need to keep this style because you're gonna create a brand 
a brand and something that is only for you. And uh, with this brand, you can start to create books, you can start to create uh, your your own universe. But this is a really tough uh, way to 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 get jobs, to get money, to survive, to 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 become famous, because. Something personal, usually uh, uh, not all the people like, and uh, need to be something impressive, something original, and uh, it's really hard to find someone with a really, really personal style. And I love when I found someone like this because I really enjoy to see, to uh, to 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 how to say follow someone with this kind of personal art. But usually, these kind of artists, they are really hard to, to contract for a video game or, 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 or something uh, about the uh, illustrate. But from time to time, for example, someone for a movie or someone for a video game, for example, I can put this example, Dishonor, you, you know this game, Dishonor, have a specific style that came from a, one artist that is amazing. I don't remember the name. It's Victor. Uh, I think he's, he's Poland or Russian guy. But the game is 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 about this artist, and it's impressive. Uh, if if someday if you have lucky to uh, some company uh, find your work and say, okay, I want to do the entire game basis in your art. It's amazing. This could happen, and you can create a brand with this. The opposite of this is like me, Ignacio. Yeah, I was trying to find, first, I was trying to find John, and second, I was trying to find myself as an artist. That's the reason why I started to draw first cartoon, first, then I moved from to comic style, then I moved to Asian style, then I moved to something more in the middle, and now I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but uh, I know that I'm really good at the end of this big career that I did. I know I'm really good with composition. I know that I'm really good with lighting. I'm, go I'm good with storytelling. Uh, I'm not the best concept artist because uh, it's not to so fun for me to design. I prefer to tell stories. Uh, but again, it's about you. What do you want to do? You want to create uh, your, own, your own universe and be really personal? Or maybe you want to adapt to different styles, try, try to first copy something and then try to find in the middle of this, trying to find your, your style. Obviously, you're going to find more jobs if you, have, uh, if you can draw vehicles, if you, if you can draw weapons, if you can draw people. Uh, usually, most of the artists they want to be uh, character designers because it's more fun. Uh, not all the people want to draw environment. Environment is usually is, is boring, maybe. Not for all the artists is fun. Uh, it's more fun to draw a face or a character doing something funny or cool rather than uh, a landscape with a tiny character in the middle with a stick. It's not fun. <laughs> but yeah, uh, try to find a way, like it could be your personal stuff or could be uh, trying to uh, at the beginning copy someone and then uh, at the end you need to become a, a, speci a specialized in uh, something. You need to, to realize that you like to draw something I'm trying to be the best doing this. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Uh, was there any projects in which you did not work, but you really want to work in there? Uh, what project? Uh, for example, uh, I really want to work uh, in CD Project Red, uh, doing, uh, doing uh, uh, Cyberpunk. Uh, Cyberpunk, the new game that they are doing. Yeah, 2077. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. Project jokes that's uh, in, <laughs> come in 2077. 
year. Yeah, yeah. At the end, at the end, I don't. I, I first I get lucky. I, 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 I have the chance to work there. Then, uh, then I lose the chance because I don't want to move from from Argentina to Poland. Then I receive a new opportunity, but then I don't pass the test art. Uh, this was uh, two years ago or three years ago. Uh, it's not about the. Uh, it's not about the, the quality of your job. It's about what they are looking. They say, like, for example, they say, like, eh, it's, your art is not matching with the style that we are looking right now. But thank you so much for applying for the job and good luck. And they say this to me. <laughs> like, uh, Anna, I, I have a lot of experience. I can say that I'm, I'm drawing really well. But no, they say to me, like, uh, thank you so much. Good luck, uh, but you can work here because uh, we don't want to work with you. Your style is not the style that we want to find, and this is happen sometimes. And it's okay, but yeah, I was trying to apply to a lot of jobs, but at the end, the only way to work to find a job is wait, and someone is gonna contact you, and they 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 are gonna give you the chance. Usually, when you are trying to apply for a job, they you receive a, a computer ro robot answer like, "Thank you so much for applying for this." Yeah, it's a it's a template. You receive a template, and they never contact you in your life. Uh, I don't believe in the in the in the how do I say in the jobs opportunities that they put in our station or at the end is is you know is a guy there. Uh, could be the art director, and he said, I'm going to call to my friend because uh, we, uh, I think that he's the best guy for the project. And you receive at least 200 uh, CVs, and you never check these, these CVs. It's really sad, but it's like this. It's about contact. It's about how, how if, if your friend or not is your friend, or if you can recommend this guy because you used to work with this guy, the, the industry is really small. That's the reason why that you need to be careful. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we have just about not so much time actually f before it's okay. the end of the stream. So, if anybody have any questions, oh, sorry, I'll tell it in Russian. Uh, ребят, если у вас есть какие-то вопросы, то мы уже потихонечку закругляемся, поэтому задавайте свои вопросики, постараемся задать еще один, максимум два, если они будут интересными. We can ask our dumb question, actually. Okay. Dumb question. Dumb question. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't just leave it for the rest because I have just another question. Probably. Uh, okay. You already gave a lot of advices for beginners, like yeah. uh, things like that. But if you had a chance, I don't know, travel back time and saw your uh, yourself, like you know, I don't know, ten uh, years earlier and, and things like that. What would you, what kind of advice would you give for yourself? Would you change anything or uh, yeah, experience yes. is great? It's a really good question. Yes, probably, probably, uh, uh, because in my life I decided to study advertising. Then uh, I realized that I really want to be an artist, and at the end it was so late to to start uh, studying, but. I, 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 at the end, I did it, but I would like to have the chance to back uh, to the past and uh, uh, go to the art university again. I would like to change my portfolio, or I would like to not be part of a couple of projects that I did in my life uh, because was not so good for me. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of bad decisions. But at the end, was they was something positive because if you don't did mistakes, you never learn. Uh, I think I don't want to change nothing. It's it's okay. 
<laughs> it's, it's okay. I'm happy with my life and my decisions. Yeah. No okay. regrets. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no we regrets. have a really we have a tradition so the last questions are really funny not serious it's more dumb actually if you were any creature or superhero or character who would it be uh, ah. any creature or character um Uh, Any character, maybe cartoon character, maybe creature, maybe super animal, theory. whatever. Yeah, I would whatever. like to be, for example, I would like to be Iron Man. <laughs> 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 the, not because I like Iron Man, it's just because I, I would like to fly. <laughs> I would like to have this kind of uh, space uh, crazy uh, robot uh, suit. To, to <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because in in, oh. <laughs> in the past, I, I really want to be a pilot. Uh, when I was young, I was uh, I was thinking about be a, a um, army pilot, maybe an astronaut or something like this. But at the end, because I was so lazy and it's really complicated and dangerous, I decided to quit <laughs> to my dream. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the finish. So yeah. at least say goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye. Uh, and <laughs> say goodbye. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for <laughs> thank you guys for the, the chance to talk with you. Is for me it's a, the first time that I do this kind of uh, streaming uh, tutorial interview, whatever. But yeah, I really enjoy it. Uh, and also, I I Yay. I'm really happy with the uh, Russian people. I I don't know. I have a really good. <laughs> Cool uh, um, stories with involved with uh, Russia and uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for uh, this. It was so, so fun and uh, I really enjoyed. It. Thank you, Ignacio, for coming here tonight because it, it, we know that it was troublesome for you and we know that. Like, thank you for the pa passion and all the troubles that you <laughs> gone through to get here because yeah, we have the uh, easiest earlier. Uh, thanks for all the years. All subscribers i'm sorry because i'm just starting to talk <laughs> in english and english as well please, so please try thank you everyone. please try to translate this in, 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 better, yeah, sure. in better meanings because i know that uh, you can do better <laughs> oh, everything is fine so thank you thank all all those thanks to all our listeners today and like as usual alex and alice was with you well, thank you so, so much bye